Right, good day learners and welcome to our exam prac. Now we are in the June 2022 prac. This is from the IEB and uh, we are looking at question number one. So first things first, we always just want to check our data files and please do this when um, you have your prac. So there you can see there's my data files. I'm just making sure all my data files are there. All right, happy with that. So let's go and look at question number one. Now, as you saw with the previous one I did from 2021, in question number one, we're looking at working with the files and folders and things like that. And you'll probably see the same when I deal with the DBE papers. Okay, so that's why I want to finish question one and two first. So question one says open and work in the folder named question one only. So when we are dealing with this, we only want to work inside question one, which means everything we do, everything we save, everything we copy, paste, etc. will only be inside this folder. So you want to make sure that you're doing that. First thing they want us to do is to rename your data files folder. So data files folder, in other words, this entire folder, they want me to rename to data files and then underscore surname. Now we know that we can just right click and we can say rename and then we can do whatever we need to do. Okay, so that's fine. Um, where surname is replaced with your name. So this is what they want it to look like. And like I showed you, we just right click and we say rename. Next one, they say unless otherwise specified, all changes below must appear in the question one folder or relevant subfolders. So we're going to go into question one. Compress the folder called fine art. So let's look, there's fine art. This compressed file should be named fine art compressed. Okay, so we're going to right click on it. I'm just going to say send to and I'm going to say compressed folder. And what do they want me to name it? Fine art compressed. So fine art compressed done. Right, so that's two marks. Then create a copy of the artist bio.docs, saving it in a rich text format file, and move both files to the subfolder called All Answers. So let's go and check for this. There's All Answers, there's Artist Bio. So I'm first going to move this. I'm just going to go cut, go into All Answers, and paste this in there. Is that part of what they wanted me to do? Yes, move both files. Right, so that's fine. Now I'm going to open this and I'm going to file, save it as, and I'm going to save it into that same folder. So I just want to make sure, browse, is it in all answers? Yes. And they want me to save this as a rich text format. So there we go, rich text format, click save, and I'm going to close this. And let's go and have a look now. All answers. So what did they say? Create a copy of the artist bio, saving it as a rich text format. Have I done that? Yes, I have. Have I moved both files to the subfolder called answers question one? Yes, I have. All right, let's continue. Create a shortcut to the HTML editor in the question one folder. So let's go to the question one folder. And they want us to just make a shortcut. So I'm going to go new, shortcut, and I'm going to say browse, and I'm going to go and look for, um, I'm going to go to Windows, and I'm now going to look for Notepad. Some of you might use like Notepad++, and that's fine. Uh, there we go. Notepad, click OK. Do they want me to name it anything? No. Doesn't seem like they care. <laughs> okay. And we click finish. And there we go. I've got the shortcut to my HTML editor. Done. Set the document properties of the file Q and A uh, as follows. They want me to set the author to my first name and set the file to read only. Okay, that's that's fairly simple. Um, which one are we talking about? Q and A. Okay, so I'm just going to right click on here. Properties, details, 
This is where I can go and change the author or add an author. Um, I'm going to right click and go to properties again. And I can put a tick in read only. And that's going to change the attribute of this document to make it a read only document. All right, let's go to the next one. Give the actions that would need to be taken to empty the computer's recycle bin. And they want us to put those answers in Q1 answers. So there we go. And what are we going to be saying? All we're going to do is we're going to go to our desktop. We're going to right click on the recycle bin. And we're going to select empty recycle bin and just confirm that. Okay. Those are the steps that you would need then to type in. To this document they also want us then to list the file size of the protea.image file and all we need to really do let's see where it is uh, protea now i can do this one of two ways i can either just click on it and see the size there i can right click on it and say properties which confirms what i just said or we can even change the view to details and I get the same answer over there. So then you will type in here to say, well, it's going to be I think 358 kilobytes. Then state why displaying a thumbnail for an image would be useful. Well, it's going to be useful because it allows me to see or we'll have a little preview of what that image actually is. It gives me a smaller view. Um, of that image so I can see and in the last one enter the dimensions of the image let me just make sure which image we're talking about it's that protea image so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on it I'm going to go to properties and I'm going to go to the details and there it tells me what the dimensions are so there I've got the size y and the dimensions then they want me to create a folder named pictures in question one. So question one, they want me to create a folder called pictures. That's done. And they want me to move all the .png images from the Tory Sto folder into that. So I'm going to go to Tory Sto. I would have to change the view to details to see the PNG. I'm just going to click on type so that it puts it in. Um, alphabetical order and then I'm gonna select all of these I'm gonna cut them go over to the pictures folder right click and paste and there you can see I have all the PNG folders then lastly they want me to set the fabric set the file fabric key instructions dot docs to be hidden so what am I gonna do I'm gonna go to fabric key instructions right click properties Hidden, apply, OK. With my view now, if I just go over here to show hide and I put a tick in hidden items, you can see it brings up fabric key instructions um, and it's sort of washed out. That's just to show that it's a hidden item. And guys, there we go. That is question one. 16 marks, easy.